So I just watched Nope. And when I say just watch, I really do mean just watch. I just came back home from the screening, ran upstairs, and now I'm recording. Nope is amazing. Boom. Just out there. I don't waste no fucking time. No foreplay. Right in it. I absolutely loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much. This has just felt like what I needed. I don't know why it feels like it's been such a long time since I've seen a horror movie really do that to me, but I guess it has because nothing else has really has done that. Jordan Peele continues to level up as a director. Now, that may not exactly mean that each you know subsequent movie following Get Out is going to be better, right? Because you know, to me, spoiler alert, I still love Get Out the most. It's his best movie in my opinion. But his direction as a singular vision is so strong and he's so confident. And I can like, this is so like pretentious to say I know, but I can really feel it and see it on screen evolving as a director. And if you've been following this movie a little bit, you know that he's been talking a lot about spectacle. He wanted this movie to feel huge and be a real kind of summer blockbuster. Well, he did. The horror set pieces, if I can call that, the specific scenes where you are supposed to feel scared, right? Where Jordan Peele, that is what he is going for. Lord have mercy. This movie was pretty scary. I cannot lie. And I don't say that as someone who gets scared easily because I'm a toxic man. Get Out isn't really scary to me, even though I still call it a horror. I'm not going to go through that debate. Us had some pretty creepy moments, but you know, I don't think I was ever really like scared of, of us. This movie, there are some scenes here where I was like, oh my god. I was like, what? what is this feeling overcoming my body right now? What is happening? I am I'm vibrating right now. Jordan Peele is truly here to stay. And thank God for that because we need more voices like him. He's at this point now. I mean, he honestly, I could say he was at that point after Get Out, but it's undoubtedly now. His name alone is an attraction, right? And we kind of know this. His name alone is a box office attraction, similar to Christopher Nolan. You don't even need to really market Christopher Nolan's new movie. You can just say from Christopher Nolan, from the director of Inception, from the director of Interstellar, whatever you want to say. Jordan Peele is firmly in that class. And the thing that's so great about Nope, and honestly a lot of his movies, but specifically Nope, with Jordan Peele also being an actor and specifically a comedian, you know the tones, the differing tones are just, ah, mwah, beautiful. It's funny and light when it needs to be, and it's also fucking brutal and terrifying when it needs to be. And there's no mismatch there. My one criticism of Thor Love and Thunder, a movie I thought was fine, you know, I liked it, was the differing tones. I felt like it was kind of at class sometimes. It can feel uneven. Nope. Well, okay, not nope, but nope, the movie. That shit is on lock, okay? Jordan Peele has a firm grasp on that, and he knows it because he himself has said the line between comedy and horror isn't that different. And I'm so happy that I am, like, born, like, when I am, you know, like, fully functioning, alive, because I will continue to grow up with Jordan Peele movies, I cannot wait to see what he does next. I also got to say on a technical level, I mean, Hoy Van Hoytema from behind the camera, I mean, it looks beautiful when you're looking at it. I mean, even the shots of it just panning and zooming around or just the stills of them looking at the sky. I mean, it looks beautiful in the way it's lit. And also the sound design is amazing, like worthy of nomination good. I don't know if that'll happen. I really don't want to think about that right now, but it's, it's that good. I mean, I don't know. God damn it. I want to see this again. The whole cast is great. I mean, obviously, Danny Kaluuya is just one of the best actors we have working right now. We know this. Stephen Yun, my freaking dad, back. Come on. We know he's already good. Brandon Perea, if that's how you say it, he's actually very good, too. He's like a new face for me, at least, you know, just for me. And Michael Wincott is great also. But Kiki Palmer is absolutely perfect as one of the leads in the movie. I believe I read that Jordan Peele kind of wrote this part with her in mind, if that is true. And if it is true... I fucking see it. She is so perfect in this role, like brings exactly what you need with the charisma and the personality and the banter and play off of Daniel Kaluuya's character as well. Oh my, she is so good in this. I mean, in terms of her movie stuff, for me, this is like clearly the best performance. I've seen a lot of Kiki Palmer's on like TV, you know, being a kid in like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon. I definitely have seen her but as a movie. This is the best performance. So with Jordan Peele, everyone wants to know like, what's up? Like what's really up with this movie? What the fuck? No, what did you say? What the? F and that's something that Jordan Peele will have to answer for his movies for a long time. One of the main criticism I heard of us, outside of the twist, is they're tired of kind of being left up in the air, kind of confused on what these themes are. What is this symbolism here? What is this symbolism here? They kind of get tired of it. This movie satisfies both parties. If you want to look at this as just a straight 
alien horror thriller, you'll get that. If you want to look at it as where's the symbolism here, what is the deeper meaning here, along with, you know, interwoven through the story of aliens, you will also get that. To me, that's perfect. Now, obviously, I have my own theories on what it does mean, and I'm sure you will have yours on too. This is a non spoiler. We're not really going to get into that. What I will say is, I am surprised at some of the negative criticism I've seen. Obviously, the embargo's not up as I'm recording this, but from what I've seen is, A, they talk about the writing, how it's a little bit disconnected, can't really connect. I disagree. That's just me, though. One thing, though, that I can see is I can see people turning on this in the third act. And I guess that is something similar with us, except not really in the same way. And really, by the third act, I mean like the last like 15, 20 minutes or so. I can see some people kind of turning on it. And A, if that does happen where you don't really like the last 15 minutes, if the last 15 minutes of a movie is enough to completely erase everything you just saw beforehand, fair enough. For me, I dug it. I absolutely dug it. And even if I didn't, the whole two hours prior to that 15 minutes is absolutely amazing. Jordan Peele's staging of horror sequences continues to just impress the fuck out of me. Nope is one of my favorite movies of the year. It is so fascinating. He, Jordan Peele is absolutely here to stay. Nope four and a half stars i'm seeing it again on friday so i'm definitely gonna have another opinion so you can follow me on letterboxd or twitter if you want to stay up to date with all my stuff sorry for like completely rambling like i said i just got home i don't have any notes or outlines or anything like that but my god what a movie